Hi, y'all. Welcome back. Uh, Mike Peace Wood Turning. When dust, oil, uh, or, or grit get inside your Morse, Morse taper, uh, it can cause you some problems by preventing your Morse taper devices from seating properly and cause some real damage. So in this video today, I want to show you how the benefits of using something like this green weenie and how to make one uh, that will accomplish the same thing to help you maintain your, your spindle. So... So it's important to clean clean your Morse taper uh, opening. And the easiest way, of course, if you have access to compressed air in your shop, you know, just blow it out every time every time you use it. Not everybody's got compressed air, and it's not real handy for me because uh, I don't have it piped in. I've got a little tiny compressor that I have to maneuver in, into place. The other way to do it is simply get you a small dowel like this, wrap it in, you know, paper towel, and and do that and then observe you know whether you're getting a lot of debris if you need got a lot of debris you might want to get a little more aggressive by possibly spraying in wd-40 and using that to help clean it but wipe it out afterwards because you don't want any lubricant in here the other other trick you can use is use this taper made otherwise known as a green weenie it's got this helical uh, design to it and it's made out of uh, some type of uh, non-marring polyurethane you know, and you put that in there, just give it a spin, and that does that does an effective job. Uh, and I want to show you some other other uh, ways to make uh, something similar. The other thing you do is wipe off your Morse tapers before you before you install them, so they don't bring any debris uh, with them. Now, let me show you a couple of tri tricks for making making uh, something similar to this this green weenie. First thing. Uh, the first technique, I've shown this trick before, is you can use a 12-gauge uh, bore brush that's got a, about a .73 diameter on it, which, which fits real well. This is a bronze uh, bore brush. Uh, it should not do any damage to your, your spindle, uh, but that, that will clean it, and that's effective. And the other way is, let me show you how to make one. You're going to get you a, a piece of uh, soft wood, could be pine, could be poplar, about seven inches long, about one, uh, one inch in diameter. Going to put it between centers. Put on my eye protection here. Watch the wood a little bit. Speed up. And then we're going to mark an area, oh, maybe four inches that we're going to use for cleaning, and we're going to start tapering it down just a little bit. Now, I happen to know that, that a Morse taper is going to be getting pretty, the, uh, on the end of it, it's going to be getting pretty close to this diameter. I think I'm going to switch to a skew to start that taper. I've got a video on making a Morse taper uh, mandrel out, out of wood, and I'll have a link to that at the end of this video. But, uh, you know, you can make you a little jig by by just setting the distances on from from a, uh, an existing Morse taper on, on each end and use those to test with. So this is too large. This is too large. I'll bring it down a little bit more, just in a nice taper. Now to get this end down, I'm going to have to switch. I hadn't thought about it. I'm going to switch to a different live center. Small end getting pretty close. Big end, not so much. And I can test this, this taper out using the tailstock quill to see how good a fit I get. A little loose on the end, so I need to kind of burnish it a little bit. So that lets me know where I need to bring it down just a little bit more. All right, I think that ought to be pretty close. So now I'm going to take my large Sorby spiraling tool. I'm going to cut a helix in it or spirals uh, somewhat in, uh, similar to this. 
So let's give that a try. We're going to turn the speed down a little bit to, oh, no more than about 600. Got the tool rest down below center, so this saddle raises up. So we lift the tool, tool. engage the tool, lift the handle to cut. Pick up the cut. Now let's see what we got. We got a pretty rough looking spiral. We're going to take a little bit of uh, green abrasive pad like, like this and just kind of clean that up a little bit. Get rid of the frizzies. Okay, now let's see how this thing works. So now I can use this to go in here and kind of clean up anything that might be be sticking. Uh, anyhow, I think the fastest and easiest way is to use a small dowel that will allow this thing when you wrap it to give it some friction and go fairly fairly deep down in there, deeper than, than your taper. Uh, the other uh, technique I've, I've seen described is you turn a taper... Uh, similar to uh, the matches Morse 2 taper except smaller and you glue strips of glue with space between them and that they will act as a as a uh, uh, cleaner very effectively I've heard they're even better than the than green weenies but I haven't bothered to make one because I think the easiest way is probably just use paper towel I'm going to have a longer video uh, out this Friday that's more details on maintaining your Morse taper including how to remove any damage uh, with the reamer. So y'all come on back. Stay safe till then here.